Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's contemplative over there rubbing his chin. I'm going to imagine, huh, what's the lead story going to be today? Hmm. Uh, hmm. I, there's a few different things I go with, but I think you know what I got to go with. I think I know what you got to go with. It's it's yeah. it's world-shaking news. World-shaking. Earth-shattering. World-shaking. Yes. So much so that it was leaked and I ended up watching yeah, Ancient gonna... <laughs> Aliens instead. <laughs> so you already knew what had happened before it happened. But so you didn't go back and watch it? I didn't see it either. No. But I'd no. heard it had been leaked. Yeah. So let's yeah. get on with it. Let's oh, face the let's music. Do it. Well, it's finally over for James Holzhauer. The Jeopardy champ in professional sports better has been dethroned by a librarian from Chicago. That's right. 27 year old Emma Bocher. Uh, took down Holzhauer, who finished a little over $58,000 shy of breaking Ken Jennings' record of $2.52 million in career winnings. Big shocker. A lot, yeah. There are some people who think he lost intentionally. I don't I don't think that's the case. I, I, this, this was a huge thing for him. I mean, this guy's a professional gambler, but now right. he's in the spotlight, and he can cash in on that too. Right. So, uh, you know. That that doesn't really carry a lot of carry a lot of weight. I I don't think I think this woman, I just, I just think she beat him. I think and he's he that's what he's saying. But you know if he's I think it, one of the things that was a it. was a big uh, a ding to him was the first mm-hmm. category he found was the daily double in the in the first round, which is mm-hmm. usually one of his big first steps. Yeah, you know what I mean. If he gets to that daily double in the first round, um, and he's then he's got eight thousand nine thousand dollars in the bank. Yeah. That was his first gigantic leap every game, mm-hmm. and he didn't and have. And then that everybody else just playing catch up, and they can't catch up. Right. right. So, but then so, on the other side of the coin too, um, it got me thinking yesterday a little bit about how long did the person last that actually beat Ken Jennings when they beat them, mm-hmm. and I don't think right, it was yeah. awful long. I don't think the yeah these people who who dethrone the champions they they they're usually like Buster Douglas. I mean they yeah. they go down pretty quickly. Because there's just there's a lot of I mean there's a lot of heat on him I mean it, yeah uh, Holzhauer has been used to this you know, he just got on a roll and kept rolling I mean you got a librarian here she's not used to the spotlight she, this is a professional gambler she's a librarian I I, I doubt very much that she's going to last more than a Wait, well, than a few are rounds you trying but to hey, downplay no, librarians? Exactly not at all I love librarians hey it's free books man and no more late fees. Dad, you know, daddy can turn, daddy can return the books whenever. Look at you. Or maybe not. Look at you. Just saying. I got a couple of library books out. I might keep them a little longer. All right. Maybe a year. I don't know. Look at I'll you. Run, yeah. I, I don't feel like I need, oh, okay, so it's like I don't have to read this in three weeks now. And, and what didn't. library book do you have? Uh, Actually, I just finished reading uh that book, our friend Annie Donawald. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, dancing, uh, dancing for the devil, and then there was a book by Chuck Klosterman uh, that was just basically a bunch of his uh, older columns, kind of condensed into a book. I like him, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take both those. Uh, I'll take both those back once I completely finish them. Hers okay. I finished, but um, I got uh, I got to go through. Oh, and I got an Adam Carolla's book, uh, not Taco Bell material. So okay. I have three books. I haven't. Uh, I'm like a third or halfway through his. So. Well, you are a you bookworm. Know. Congratulations. I, absolutely. You know, I get. I like to expand my horizons. Uh, I'm very, uh, very cultured, as you can see. Of course. Very professional. You know, you got. You got to be well read if you're going to wear a tie. People just tend to think things. Like, you, you can. You can come off. You can wear your t-shirt. You can shoot from the hip. I got to be well read. There you go. Moving on. Yes. Uh, de- uh, Democrats are increasing in their support for impeaching President Trump. 76% of Dems favor impeachment, up from 69% in April. Only 41% of Americans are in favor of impeachment. Meanwhile, Trump's approval rating remains at around 43%. It's one of those things they're they're kind of forced to do this now because the, the, that's what the base wants. The base of the Democratic Party wants them to impeach him, even though they're not going to get him out of office. Right. Uh, so it's kind of, it's pretty much a waste of time, but they want to go through the the theatrics of this, which I get. And like I said, I'm in favor of because I love that. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's it's not going to really matter. So, OK, uh, we will see. 
Moving on. Planned Parenthood in Muskegon will see its last patients on June 28th before moving out. Muskegon County Commissioners ended their lease back in April. Planned Parenthood still looking for a new location in the county. The closest facility for patients would be in Grand Rapids, which is a, a bit of a hike. And keep in mind, this was not a facility that performed abortions. This was, no. this was uh, you know, screenings and uh, birth control and stuff like that. This wasn't, you know, you uh, there was no controversy with this particular facility, but it's, it's, it's under the Planned Parenthood thing, which obviously we talked about this yesterday. Abortions are down, you know, said said that about violent crime. People are up in arms about violent crime. Violent crime is down. Abortions are down. Those are good things. Uh, But it's an, it's one of those things. I mean, abortions like uh, abortion on the right is like climate change on the left. It's explosive. And you, there's, there's, there's one view and that's it. So, uh, uh, that's where we are uh, there. Uh, we'll see if they get a new v- facility. Have you heard anything about that? Like in, anybody in Muskegon County? I've not heard anything to, yet, no. I just and this is what know. bothers me. And, and once again, this is coming from somebody uh, in, in the pro-life camp. you got to have another facility for these people to go to. If you're going to shut down this facility, you have to have a facility for them to get, you know, to, to get the, their, their, their health care issues taken care of. Um, I don't, I don't like this. You shut down a clinic, and you don't have something else for these these people to go to. Well, but you know, I don't know. some somebody's ideology got shoved on us, and that's what matters. Well, you know, and, and and I'm I'm sympathetic to that. I'm sympathetic to that cause, but at the same time, I'm also sympathetic because there are other needs that have nothing to do with abortion that need to be that are met through these Did, facilities. Maybe so you need you to hear do? me again. Somebody's ideology got shoved down our throats. And that's what matters. It doesn't matter what everybody wanted. It doesn't matter what everybody needed. It doesn't matter what somebody's ideology knew or didn't know about mm. life in the city and what it's like to have to try and find those kind of those kind of services. What it's trying what it's like to try and find those kind of uh, reproductive services or STD services or any of that kind of stuff, and a recognizable name and banner and a place to go like Planned Parenthood. What it comes down to is one person's ideology. Getting crammed person. down our throats. It was the commissioners think about collectively. That. It was the commissioners collectively decided this. And I'm not necessarily saying they're wrong. I'm saying you got to have something else, someplace else for these people to go to. You got to step up. Somebody's got to step out, up and help these people. Okay. Need, but I'm saying uh, that there was some services. dissent in the commission, and it comes okay. down to a commissioner's ideology okay. that got this okay. crammed so down our throats. Okay. Are you going to name the commissioner, or are no, you not doing that? I, no. You're just saying. Well, I'm just okay. saying. All right. And once again, I'm I'm open-minded. I'm I'm all for hearing his side of the story and all that stuff. I just I think you got to have you got to have you got to take care of the people for these other for these other services. Yeah, but they, anyway, th- those people we we don't need to take care of them. <laughs> They're not our problem. <laughs> I, <clears throat> that's the crux of what went on here. You, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna kowtow to you there because hey, I don't I'm, know as much about. I'm all for it. I think, I think it's an essential service. I think that that what we had happen here is absolutely unequivocally awful. Okay, but you, you know you what don't I mean. Understand the, the, this, this, right? You, uh, now, you, I, I will grant you the fact that the fifteen hundred dollars a month for rent in the in the county building was a little low, or whatever they were paying. That could have been adjusted. That could have been fine, okay. and but mark my words, this was one person's agenda, so they could look good to their their group. They could okay. go around and high five and look how great I am and look how wonderful. Look at the wonderful things I did, and they did it without even thinking twice about the people who actually need these services. Do you, do you think it might have been? I'm just spitballing, uh, like a symbolic act because. Because let, let, let's be honest, when it comes to Planned Parenthood, there you you can't just say they just uh, now this yes. particular facility just just dealt with these other services. Had this was a symbolic abortion, act under, to show how powerful somebody could be and was it, work their way up. Okay. Okay. Sports. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. They beat the Angels eight to one. Tigers were off. St. Louis doubles up Boston. Stanley Cup Finals four to two. That's uh that series getting interesting. Ooh. 
Yeah, well, we shall see. It's it's good to see. I like to – that's one good thing the NHL does have this year is you got St. Louis and Boston. You've got two, you know, staples of the NHL, staple franchises, and it's not like freaking San Jose against <laughs> Carolina. Nobody cares. Nobody in Carolina cares about hockey. Nobody in – well, the L.A. Kings people care, but nobody in – come on. Come on. Anyway, out of here. that's sports. Have yourself yeah, a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.